Okay, here we are. Hobie BLS check-in. Look at all the rigs. Look at all the rigs. Mike Iaconelli's back at the hotel. He'll be here any second in his huge Toyota Tundra. <laughs> this is what it's all about, people. This is what it's all about. Big T Davis here. Holby Champlain 2021 at the launch and uh, getting ready to go out just waiting for some boats and uh, we'll see how this goes. Super rough out here. <laughs> Super rough. I'm seeing tiny white caps. You too, man. <laughs> you know, really? Yeah. Interesting. You got live scope on that thing? Oh, yeah. Load it up. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh-huh. But I jumped in a Hobie this year just to, I couldn't do the pedal drive no more. I went through like seven pedal drives. Really? Yeah. How long did you have it? I've had them since they ever came out with. I was one of the first ones with them. Oh, okay. I've heard things about the pedal drive. I mean, this is like my sixth tournament. Okay. I don't have any issues besides the clicking with the damn pedal. Yeah. It drives me crazy. So the biggest thing with those is just go ahead and spend the $30 and buy a good pedal good set of bicycle pedals. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. 
but it's a great platform. I had one when I first came out, uh -huh. and then uh, I fish Lake Erie a lot, so it's not great for giant water. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's it's a lot slower than a single hull. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. So I'm gonna pick up an E drive for the tournaments that allow them, like KBF allows electric. This though, when they said, when I looked, they said, oh, they don't allow electric with Hobie. And we're going to Champlain and it's gonna be windy. There's gonna be a lot of people having problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's tough. That's why I'm not on a main lake. Yeah. And I know there's two guys, one of them, he's, he's on a leaderboard. Yeah. But he's fighting for every bit of it. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. All right, I, I'm from Boston. Oh, okay. uh, Torrance. Torrance. Yours? Russell. Okay. Nice you going to Susquehanna? Yep. All right, I'll see you there. All right, right. Yep. If you have any questions, just look up Russell Johnson. All right, no problem. Like okay. Well, I'll follow you. Uh, you might not want to follow any of that. <laughs> What's up everybody? This is uh, my third day vlog from the Hobie BOS Ticonderoga. Uh, day one was a real bruiser. So here's the thing. So <clears throat> KBF, you know KBF, fully national, the, one of the biggest, one of the best. They allow electric motors for obvious reasons because they fish big waters. And in order to be efficient, you need to have a motor at some of these places. Uh, Hobie does not allow electric motors, which in some sense is kind of cool and entertaining because it really balances out the play field because it's not just your knowledge of the water, it's your ability to paddle for long distances, it's how fast and maneuverable your kayak is, etc., etc., etc. Now, uh, my kayak's huge. It's 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 a catamaran. It's got two holes. It's 48 inches wide. Where, you know, I have all these great comforts and stability. One of the cons of, of my Blue Sky uh, Angler 360 is that it doesn't have speed. Uh, when I'm when I'm pedaling that thing, it's not as fast as like a Hobie or a Titan, um, which is fine. But when you're on big water and you need to move through heavy waves, you need speed and you need uh, aerodynamics, you need maneuverability to get through those waves quickly. I don't have that. So yesterday, just to get, so I had a plan. I didn't pre-fish, didn't have time. I'm a working man. You know, I took Friday off just to drive out here. I was gonna pre-fish Friday, when I got here, there was so much wind and so many waves that, and I had about three hours. By the time I got on the water and, and started to graph, I would have had to get back off. So I was like, I'm not even gonna pre-fish. And uh, the next day, high winds, 15 miles per hour, 20, 20 mile per hour, or 12 miles per hour, 20 mile, mile per hour gusts. And then today, 15 miles per hour, 20 mile per hour gusts. It took me, three hours to get to my first spot. I had a spot picked out. I got there, it took me three hours. I actually caught a fish when I got to that spot. So my thinking was correct. I went there, the only problem was I was in a river with hard current going one way and hard wind blowing me in one other direction and it would literally anchor me in one spot. It was really funny. I got there, I found some, um, some areas where there were current breaks and sure enough in that current break was my first bass so then I went around to this heavily matted area full of lily pads with these huge like paths so I could take my kayak down the paths and just pitch in those little uh, channels for fish and I kept pulling up dinks I think I caught three dinks so at that point it was time to leave and then it took me another three hours just to get back just to get back to the main lake fish some of the main lake and then get back to the launch I spent about 75% of the day pedaling and that don't I say I may have said paddling I meant pedal I spent 75% of the day moving and pedaling and about 25% fishing 
when you're on a big lake like that and you can only spend 25% of the day fishing, you're not going to get catch a full bag unless you get lucky. And comparing that to some of the smaller places that I fish, the smaller places, I spend about 75% of the day fishing and another 25% moving. When I spend 75% of the day fishing, I catch fish. So, um, there's something about those small local tournaments. I love big waters. I love Champlain. Champlain is one of the best places I've ever fished in a big aluminum boat. Um, not so much on a kayak. If the winds were like three to five miles per hour, I would have done more fishing and less moving. I probably could have got a full bag. Um, plus, you know, I didn't have knowledge of Ticonderoga. I'd never been to Ticonderoga before. It, it's huge. Uh, I, I just went with my instinct and what I researched on the map. And, uh, you know, I found what I found. Uh, there were others that had the same issues that I had. Um, and people still had trouble on the water. I mean, it was still rough water. But, uh, you know, Mike Iaconelli got a full... Mike Iaconelli got a bag. He got a, a full bag in the first 45 minutes of the tournament. And it was, I was like, where did he go? And we both launched the same launch. And he went left and I went right. He knew where he was going. He knew what he was doing. I, you know, in the years that I fished, going to a place the first time, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. The more you go back to a place, the more you learn it, the more you know how to fish it. Uh, it's one of Mike Iaconelli's favorite lakes. I'm sure the, a bunch of the other guys that are getting full bags, they knew what they were doing. They'd been to the lake before. I just really couldn't fish my style. I couldn't fish the way I wanted to. So, uh, and then the next one is uh, Susquehanna River in, in Pennsylvania, which is a fast moving, it's filled with smallies. There's a ton of smallmouth in this river. It's a great fishery, but it's fast moving waters. So, gotta have a power pole. And, uh, you know, I, I have a power pole now. I wish I could have had it for this trip, but. Uh, it would have been nice to have it this trip. I think it would have saved me some, some trouble. Uh, you know, I could have planted down at a spot and really fished it better. But either way, I don't really feel like doing... In my, my opinion, if Hobie... And Hobie, they, they fish all the AAA lakes in North America. I mean, all the big lakes, all the, the MLF guys, the FLW, the Bass guys, all those same lakes except with kayaks, which is cool. But unlike KBF, they don't allow the use of electric motors. And I think if Hobie's going to be fishing these big lakes, they should at least allow the use of electric motors on these kayaks. It does separate the men from the boys when you when you take away the electric motor. But damn, you know, uh, KBF has no issue with that. They'll fish a big water. Everybody's allowed to use electric motors. So I don't know if I'm going to do Hobie anymore. Um, I'm definitely not going to go to Susquehanna. I was going to go. I definitely don't want to go. And the other thing is, this is day two. Clearly, I'm not fishing on day two. I said, you know what? I'm not even going to bother fishing because I was so beat yesterday from all that, all that pedaling and, and you know, all that rowing I did yesterday just to move about. My whole body was in pain this morning. And I knew it. And today was obviously going to be windier than yesterday, so it was going to be more of the same. And I'm like, I caught one bass yesterday. I could probably, if I got lucky and got a bag, I could, I could be in the runnings for the Dakota Power Move. But I figured, you know what, I'm going to get a nice breakfast, recharge my batteries, and, and go home early. And start thinking about my next local tournament at South Watopa. <laughs> you know? No hard feelings. It is what it is. Uh, I still got a lot to learn about uh, Champlain and Ticonderoga. Maybe next year I'll do it again. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how things pan out. But I do have a huge appreciation for the local local tournaments I've been doing on smaller lakes. And again, if if Ticonderoga, if it was if it was low winds, I, w I think I would have done a better job considering you know the size of my kayak and the speed it goes. I think I would have done a much better job if I didn't have to fight the wind. But um, these are the things I have to tweak and I have to work on. This is my first year as a kayak tournament angler. I have a ton to learn. I can't just jump in my first year and expect to do crazy things. You know, there's still a lot I got to learn. A lot, of, a lot I got to learn about myself, about my vessel, and make improvements on it so I can fish better. 
And you know what? As long as you walk away from something with more knowledge than you had before, that's a good thing. So uh, no hard feelings for me. Um, I, you know, I'm not fishing the second day, and I'm, I don't feel bad about that. <laughs> you know, I got a four-hour drive home, and uh, I'm gonna go relax, and uh, you know, start planning my next tournament. And uh, each time I do this, the blogs will get the vlogs will get better, and I'll have more uh, footage for you guys. I got some good footage of Champlain. I'll have more at the next one. You know, like I said, I keep making tweaks to the way I do things camera positioning and things like that so it's going to get better every time uh, i'll see you guys on the next video peace